it'd be very empty. There wouldn't be any any beautiful trees or flowers to see on the, on the uh, sides of the road because the trip would have, and the journey would have just been horrible. Back in 1998, when I thought everything was just going great and I was just getting ready to turn 50 years old, my wife told me that I should probably go to the doctors and just do a routine check, and that was for my prostate. So I did that. I got a, the wonderful phone call, got some good news and some bad news for you, Joe. I said, well, give me the bad news first. She says, well, you've got prostate cancer. Hit me. And I said, well, what's the good news? She said, we caught it really, really early. And so that's when I was introduced to life with cancer. I met some of the men from here and they had already been through this experience. During these past 10 years, the Life with Cancer group that meets here has been outstanding support. They've uh, provided the one-on-one -on -one that I would need to talk to, to other men about what's going on in their lives. They talk to me about what's going on in my life. So we do a lot of sharing that you normally wouldn't do anyplace else. Five years ago, my wife was diagnosed with colorectal cancer. We went to the colorectal support group for her. The unfortunate part is the cancer had gotten through the lymph nodes and it was in a, got to a stage where we just couldn't do anything about it. The loss of a loved one is so great. It's, it's different than anything else I, I imagine. When I lost my wife who I'd been with for 40 years, that is totally different. So now Life with Cancer provides a good grief program and you meet with other people and share your stories and hear other people talk about their loved ones who they had just lost. So, I, and I, thinking back to the class, I'm a prostate cancer survivor. I didn't really have a lot of pain. I, I mean, I was one of the lucky ones. And with my wife dying and the pain that she went through, that just seemed to be so unfair to her. Ten years ago, we dreamed of building a home, a house, in support of all families in our community dealing with cancer. Thanks to the generous support of our community, this is a house full of hope. This is the house that the community built. We can fill these walls with endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. <laughs> Endless possibilities because we're in a place that no one else has ever built before. Endless possibilities because of your generous gifts. Inside these walls, we can learn to love, to laugh, to cry, to share, to heal, to heal, to heal, to heal and, to and to hope. To hope. To hope.